Ahmad Rashad was the first in a long line that continues today of dominant wide receivers to wear purple, a franchise that has seen some of the greatest to ever play the wide receiver position. He played in Pro Bowls, a Super Bowl, and was an offensive leader, and now a member of the Ring of Honor. Welcome to this NBA Inside Stuff special. It is all about a man known as Sir Charles of the Phoenix Suns. Actually, his name is Charles Barkley, and my name is Ahmad Rashad. Check this out. Drafted by the Cardinals in 1972, Rashad arrived in Minnesota in 1976 and never looked back. He quickly developed into the top wide receiver the franchise had seen and became the go-to target right away for Fran Tarkington. He was the first Vikings receiver to gain over 1,000 receiving yards in consecutive seasons and went on to play in four Pro Bowls during his seven seasons in purple. Minnesota's receivers are among the most admired in all of pro football. The man on the flanks most often called upon was Pro Bowl MVP Ahmad Rashad. Rashad led all NFC wide receivers with 66 catches, a number that set a new Viking record as well. Over the past three seasons, no other player in the league has caught more passes than Ahmad Rashad. The Cardinals built a 17 to nothing halftime lead on these turnovers and a 98 yard run catch and run from Jim Hart to Bobby Moore, whose motor finally stopped working on the one. Cardinal quarterback Gary Quazzo, an ex-Viking, was not intimidated as he hit Bobby Moore to regain the lead. Late in the fourth quarter, Gary Quazzo hit Moore again and seemingly iced the game at 19 to 17. Score tied at 7-7, ball at the Packer four-yard line, parking him back to pass, has good protection, looking left, looking left, looking for Rashad, passes in the air, touchdown, Rashad has it, and the Vikings take the lead, 13 to 7. Parking him back to pass now, Vikings have just a seven-point lead, into the end zone it goes, Ahmad Rashad is there, and he makes a diving catch, and the Vikings go ahead with a commanding lead. So, we have a race in this central division. Safety Not blitz, blitz is on, throws, crossing, it's in there. Viking quarterback Tommy Kramer directed Minnesota's pass-oriented offense and hit number 28, Ahmad Rashad. The opponents were the Los Angeles Rams, a team that had never beaten the Vikings in postseason play. Arkin and rolling out takes a look at Ricky Young, who's got the most receptions of any player in the NFL. A high throw that Rashad takes down with one hand. The Eagles would have intercepted that ball, not been taken down by Rashad. One hand, he goes up and pulls that thing down. Quick look, drop, throw. Again, Rashad with a circus catch. Ahmad Rashad, three spectacular receptions. Arkin, pump fakes, looks into the end zone, lets it rip. Touchdown, Eagles! Ahmad Rashad goes up over two defenders. Touchdown Vikings. Vikings throw the touchdown over Herman Edwards, and now the game is tied. Third down 11 on the 20 of Buffalo. The rush is on, and Kramer gets it away. He's got his hand. That's Rashad. Ahmad Rashad with four different ball clubs starting out in St. Louis, going to Buffalo. Not happy in Seattle, nor they with him coming to Minnesota. What a, what a super job here, varying his speed between two defenders, you see 22 Freeman, 38 Nixon trying to get to him, but Rashad wide open as he is so often. Hey Bobby, I got, a, I got something I want you to do for me. There's a lady that I'm in love with, <laughs> and you know the lady as Claire Huxtable on The Cosby Show. What I'd like you to do is dispatch somebody. She's there in New York at the Macy's Day Parade. Now this isn't all serious now. I would like to send this message to her. Felicia, would you marry me? <laughs> Would you get back to me, Bobby, on that answer? I told you this was a bad idea. There'll be no place to run, no place to hide. The Cardinals tried to blitz back as Jim Hart began honing in on wide receiver Ahmad Rashad. Kramer's short sideline dumps finally put points on the board as he threw for three scores. One to the NFL's leading wide receiver, Ahmad Rashad, number 28. When Tommy Kramer and Ahmad Rashad, number 28, combined for a 40-yard score, Minnesota threatened to make a game of it in the early going. Hart came back with a perfect 41-yard strike to rookie Bobby Moore, and the Big Red led 14 to nothing in the first quarter. 
was a Pro Bowl player. He was a high draft pick. He had a really great career. He had some very famous catches. With a minute 35 remaining, Kramer and Ahmad Rashad, number 28, brought the Vikings to within one point. While the Browns are known as the Cardiac Kids for their last second victories, Kramer's 46-yard desperation pass enabled the Vikings to snatch that reputation for themselves on this afternoon. In a career highlighted by clutch receptions, Ahmad Rashad never produced one as spectacular as this NFC Central Division title clincher. For if Minnesota did not beat Detroit, they would be out of postseason play. However, that possibility vanished when Minnesota quarterback Bob Lee got hot early. Wide receiver Ahmad Rashad, number 28, caught this one and seven others. The division race has become a torrid affair that no real fan can be lukewarm about. At Minnesota, things got very hot indeed as Tommy Kramer and the Vikings came out smoking against the Packers. Number 28, Ahmad Rashad, caught one of two first quarter Kramer scoring passes. Rashad finished up his day's work with nine catches for 136 yards and a pair of touchdowns. In 1978, the Vikings passed more than any team in NFL history. Tommy Kramer and veteran Ahmad Rashad, number 28, teamed up for four second-half touchdowns. Kramer, who had not completed a touchdown pass during the preseason, suddenly found himself very much at ease. Rashad equaled a club record. Yet while new blood was being pumped into the Vikings, the 49ers still held a one-point lead with less than two minutes remaining. But the Kramer-Rashad duo proved once and for all that Minnesota was alive and well. Garth then began seeking out wide receiver Ahmad Rashad. Rashad's nine-yard score gave the Cardinals a 17-10 lead. And after the Eagles got to within 17-13, Hart and Rashad applied what appeared to be the clincher. The Cardinals led 24 to 13 with less than five minutes to play. As usual, the lethal passing partnership of Tommy Kramer to Ahmad Rashad was right on target. Rashad fingertipped this floater and took it 76 unimpeded yards. You know, Walter, one of the greatest things is having played against you for so many years, uh, the great player you are, that you have a chance to play in this game, the Super Bowl. A lot of great players never get a chance to play in the Super Bowl, but one thing I want you to do that I didn't get a chance to do is win the Super Bowl. Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. If, after we win the Super Bowl, and I'm not being cocky or being anything, I'll let you keep it for a, week, for a wedding gift. Remember that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Good luck, man. Okay. Several uh, weeks ago in a uh, feature... A handle by inside stuff, Ahmad Rashad went up against uh, Shaquille O'Neal, a little one-on-one, -on -one, and then it was Shaquille's turn, he whipped by Ahmad, and a uh, funny thing happened, <laughs> shattering the backboard.